Us accounting for a whopping 23,000 crore rupees per year in exports, Tirupur in Tamil Nadu is home to a vibrant textile industry. Since demonetization, though, the town's revenues from retail and wage payments to 7 lakh employees have both been hit by the cash crunch. CNBC TV 18's Jude Sanath travelled to these towns to take stock of how things stand. Ramraj Cotton's textile warehouse in Tirupur sends out 3 lakh metres of dhotis and 30,000 cotton shirts every single day. That was until the 8th of November. Soon after, this textile powerhouse, which enjoys an 80% market share in South India, saw sales volumes drop by 70% at multi-branded retail outlets. This month, that drop has been 50%. But there's hope in the air now. Even as retail orders come grinding to a halt, Tirupur's textile warehouses continue to dispatch these newly weaved dhotis at a brisk pace. In fact, some of the bigger names that we've spoken to in this space tell us they haven't exactly scaled down on production post-demonetization. And that's because they expect demand to pick up in the new year, especially with the Tamil Harvest Festival of Pongal just around the corner. To give this anticipated pickup a boost, textile companies with a sizable local market are contemplating large discounts. Some directly aimed at mitigating the demonetization drive. To get customers back into our shops, we now plan to discount all our dhotis in the first week of January from 185 rupees per dhoti to just 100 rupees. The message we intend to send out is this Your 100 rupee notes have great value today. This, even though Tirupur's 23,000 crore rupee export market has been largely insulated from the cash crunch. The real pain of the demonetization drive was felt at garment factories like this one, where workers were paid their weekly wages in cash. Even that is slowly fading. The average weekly wage for an employee at a garment factory in Tirupur stands at 3,000 rupees, money that was being paid in cash. All that changed over a month ago when some factories issued prepaid cards like these. Today, these employees are part of India's cashless